for the book question. This is I, Aaron, the book question. Today I'm going to introduce you to this MIT book, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Book one, the lightning thief. Well, today I'm not exactly going to explain the whole lot of the story. I mean, that's exhausting, and it's what 11 o'clock, and so I'm going to well tell you. Well, the difference between the movie and the book, and I basically think the book is better. Well, number one, well, Luke. Well, in the movie, Luke was the was actually the one behind all of the scenes, and she actually wanted to rule over the universe or something. But in the book, it says that Luke was well. Getting was getting commands from a titan, and that doesn't sound so good. And number two, mom's artwork. You see, in in the movie, Gabe accidentally sees the head of Medusa inside a refrigerator, and he turns into stone. But in the book, they do it on. Purpose, and get and the mom sells it for her artwork, and well, it's kind of funny. I think. I mean, here, it's my husband. It's my artwork, man. You know what I mean. And last one, Iris. You see, Iris, the god of war, was behind some of the scenes. Look, did not have the full credit. Well, Iris cut. Like Luke, while she he was running away from Rome, Olympus, and while he was doing the life playing seats thingy, okay? but Iris somewhat convinced himself that he will not harm the boy, and he will let him go, and that is rather how do you say? Very interesting, and Iris was actually quite scared. Of the person who was behind Luke's schemes, and second, Iris also was the god of war, and he wanted to see the greatest war of all time, which is great. And this book, well, is a great book. And I, even if I saw the movie, I basically think the got the director just made Percy Jackson into a really horrible movie, and I. Th- I think the director should have a new director and remake the whole thing. I mean, my opinion. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.